don't know if I can zoom in and show you all of them right there, but there's got to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 right there. And on the other side, I know I saw like two more, but uh, yeah, lots of carp today. And uh, we're doing something a little bit different here. This is uh, not something you see in the United States very often, but this is a uh, this is a method method feeder here. And uh, I've made some homemade boilies here, and then underneath here, I have some homemade bait as well. But I've never made this before, so I could have made it too moist. Uh, not moist enough is probably not something. It looks very very doughy. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try it out though. We're gonna put a boilie on one and uh, on the other one, I have this little synthetic piece of corn. And uh, yeah, we're just going to see how we do here. I'm excited. All right, okay. Now, to be honest, we were catching these on just corn and that kind of has to do with uh just being from the united states for one thing but also being from kansas not a lot of people fish for carp unlike other parts of the world so we are just gonna sit here for a little bit i'm on my lunch break got an hour and i figured we would just sit out here sometimes an hour I'm sure a lot of places an hour would not be long enough, but uh, if we don't catch anything in this hour, then we're just going to come back here another time, and this will be a, a part a part tour or something like that. But we will we will see. <laughs> I'm telling you, there are so many nibbles; they just don't take it. It kind of makes me wonder if the method feeder is just one of those things where like it's good for carp that get caught often i suppose they just they're used to it they're not going to fall for the corn on the hook sort of thing whereas these carp in the middle of the city probably you know no one is fishing for them um so i wonder if they're just you know they're weary of this because they don't know what the heck's going on i don't know what the heck's going on um but when i had lots of corn on the hook it was working just fine um, it will be interesting next time to come out with, uh, instead of a boilie on one rod, I want to put just a regular old corn on one rod. And I also want to put more breadcrumbs in my, uh, in my carp bait. And hopefully that will kind of make it a little bit drier and, uh, you know, disperse in the water a little bit better. Um, I think that might help a bit. So, anyway, those are my notes for this time around. It is... 145 right on the dot right now so we're gonna have to reel these in and uh we'll have to come out on my next lunch break see if we can uh, get anything uh tomorrow hopefully if the weather's nice see i think that's just a sign that they've been sucking on it getting some of it out but it's just far too uh moist right now it needs to be a drier kind of combination of stuff and uh and maybe it'll help with that in the future when we come out and try this tomorrow, hopefully. I'm gonna leave them with a few snacks, throw in the rest of this out, and we will uh, we'll be back tomorrow to see if we can uh, get lucky then. Well, the rain has stopped, but it's gonna keep going here in the afternoon, so I thought I'd come out here make an early lunch break. It's a new addition in the river today. So uh, I think that just looks like a pretty good rod stand right there. Um, I'm not sure if I can sit on top of it or not, but I might try. So we do have uh, two different blends of uh, stuff today. We have these, which have breadcrumbs and, uh, and flour in them. I, I made more. Yeah, I still smell um, better boilies anyway. And then this is, uh, I know a lot of you have been asking about uh, catfish and carp. If I watch catfish and carp, and this is his ponko uh, corn, sweet corn, and uh, red uh, strawberry jello mixture here. So that's what I'm going to use the chum up today. Just to throw something out there that will get the carp hopefully uh, in the mood for some strawberry and corn. We will see though. Oh yeah, they're already going for it. 
<clears throat> that's good to see. I'm gonna throw out a, a few more handfuls of this and then, and then we'll throw out a rot. I just want this one to be real short. Hopefully that works. Okay. And what I did differently about this one was because uh, I watched him explain how a lot of the carp here in the U.S. aren't used to boilies. So I thought with this one we would do panko and then we would also um, throw on some corn on the hook. Yeah. So drag is off on that one with a clicker and this one has the drag on so that's the one we're gonna have to watch there we go golly with all my booty <laughs> hey we got a catfish <laughs> we got a catfish how about that well he wasn't wrong when he said that catfish and and carp like to go for this thing i have this brand new net too there we go Come back here, man. There we go. Look at him. Oh, we're doubled up. Look at that. Look at that drag. Look at that drag. There we go. This is a bigger fight. Oh my God. And we use the darn net on the catfish. Oh my golly. Hey bud, can I flip you out of here? There we go. Oh my god. Here we go. This is what we're after. This is what we're after. Oh my goodness gracious. Calm down, old red tail. Okay, grab the net. Oh God, it's stuck in the mud. There we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is a, that is a tank. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Catfish on one pole, carp on the other. It's so funny because when I was coming out here, a lady told me, um, good luck catching dinner. And I said, oh, I'm not going for dinner. I'm just trying to catch, just trying to catch a carp. <laughs> I didn't think that we'd actually catch a catfish. That is awesome. Look at this dude. Decent two pounder or so. I'm not sure, honestly not sure. But still all right, still a pretty cool looking dude. I mean, he's not very long, but uh, yeah, that's nice. Here you go, bud. There you go. There he goes. There he goes. Swimming away on the boilie. The first catch on the boilie. This dude, this dude is a different story. I'm gonna have to look around and see if I can find my weight scale because this is this is a new PB I think. Yeah. Stay, 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 stay. Nope, nope. Oh my god. <sighs> well, I mean Pretty sure it was my PB. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I like, I like dove in after him. I was trying to get him back in. Oh, he felt, he, he felt chunkier than the last one is the thing. Oh man, that was crazy. Doubled up, catfish and carp. I just, yeah. Not a lot of room, it's slippery mud. What can you expect from me? <laughs> still pretty cool we've got some time left um 
I was still hoping to fish till like 11:30. So we will see if we can uh can get another one, huh? Just had a nibble on both of the poles. Just needs to take it. Take it, bud. There we go. There we go. Another one. Looks listen to that. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Get the net. Get the net. Get him as he swings around. Oh my god, they put up such a good fight. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now this one looks about the same size as the one we caught last time. Not not this time around, but the last time we were here. Oh, finally. All right. Looking at just under seven pounds there for this guy. So not a super huge dude, but still a decent sized dude. <sighs> Look at that guy. <laughs> oh my gosh. These carp are so much fun. So much fun. I would move my backpack, but I just... I don't want it in the mud. <laughs> that is awesome. Hopefully it's all in frame there. Ooh. Oh, there goes the backpack. All right, top notch. Oh, let's let this guy go. Here you go, don't freak out on me as I let you down. Okay, nice and calm. Yeah. Oh my goodness. They are such strong fish. That is crazy. Well, I tell you what, everyone, that was pretty sick. It's, uh, it's still only like 11, 12, and we're catching them like, I throw it out there and I wait less than 15 minutes and we get another bite. So I think I'm gonna throw another battery in the GoPro and uh, we'll throw another bait out and we'll just, See if we get lucky in the next couple, next 15 minutes or so. We'll, we'll see. But I think we have a decent chance. <clears throat> there we go. Ooh, they always freak me out whenever they do a movement like that. There we go. It's really surprising me because the other one was the one that was getting nibbles this entire time and then this thing freaking just took off. Oh, no! Oh my God. You are kidding me. That's the first carp to get away today. Got nibbles on both poles right now. Terrible problem to have, you know. Oh no! There was so much clicking. I thought it was in. Dang, bro. Pretty good day, everyone. I think so. Three different carp uh, landed. Two of them. Um, the one got away, and uh, right, right. I'm gonna say if two got away did we get did we get four caught three one got away landed one landed two one got away and then we hooked one or two others but they got off unfortunately and a channel cat so uh that's not too bad anyway i'm gonna have to look through the film i can't even remember what just happened but a uh, great day nonetheless i enjoyed it if you like this video if you enjoy carp fishing or cat fishing um you live in kansas you know or you like just outdoor video games in general this is the channel for you uh love doing this stuff can't wait to put out more uh, videos every single week so make sure you hit the subscribe button like the video if you enjoyed it um yeah that's it everyone thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. As always, remember everyone. We're one planet, one family. Game on.